This is a composition of Melathur Veerabhadraya in the Ragam Ananda Bhairavi set to Adi Thalam. I have not come across a choreography uh, in this Varajadi as yet. I don't know whether it has been uh, performed in some other style. But in Mohiniyatam, this should be a new work. This, uh, even Swarajatis are not been much introduced in Mohiniyatam before uh, and it should be a new experience to the seekers in Mohiniyatam. Very rarely uh, we come across a composition where, the, where there is a Naika concept and oh, he, she would be speaking to her Sakhi and the human emotions which she uh, is undergoing and the the defining desire to be in union with the Lord. Such Swarajatis would certainly accomplish in dance format because you get a lot of opportunity to uh, express the Sringara Rasa. Uh, this is one of such where the Sakhi uh, is being addressed by the Naika. Uh, why the Nayaka Sri Venkateshira has not arrived and that she uses her uh, female vices and advises her Saghi to go to him and that she is like disturbed why the other woman, why Lord is finding this great about the other woman. So such theme would certainly suit uh, Mohini Atta. Here uh, the speciality is that the dancer can dance to the swaram uh, in the thala format and also the corresponding sahitya. The pure dance uh, is replete with this bhavam which uh, of, uh, you see as uh, the part of the expression of the sahitya. Uh, the pure dance is also replete with sringaram. Uh, and the main thing to be noted in this is this Swarajati is in a slower tempo. Mohaniyatam dancers need to have this training to hold the particular sentiment as their, that, that is the chief sentiment. Adhering to the Stai Bhava and your ability to strengthen it further even while you perform the pure dance, the movements, the arithmetic, while you are thinking, you are, uh, uh, you are making it sure, it should not affect the flow, the sensuality and the aesthetic beauty of the uh, item itself. I will be giving Pada uh, word by word meaning you can understand that and how it is not just like you get a word and you are giving an uh, an expression with a mudra with a gesture it is not that it is like understanding the vakyartha the context the text should be understood understood in the contextual way and emoting so uh, please keep this in mind so that is why I have told in some of the places you need to understand the age of the girl because here the girl is telling about her like she is sometimes J <laughs> feeling that a bit of jealous that okay the other woman is, is there with the Lord. You know so you, you have a certain age for this okay Sagi please there, there is a kind of restlessness in her, there is a kind of uh, a kiddishness, there is an innocence. So all these things should be should be there in back of your mind while you perform. See, I am teaching an item, but there is a lot of journey which a student should take to reach this level. Hence, there will be many uh, restrictions for uh, a freshener in the sense that they may not feel the easiness in which the student or me would dance. So, a, a simple serpent would be taken with a lot of space. Why? Because for, the, for him it is a daily thing or for her it is a daily thing. So, any art form should be learnt in a daily basis. Natya Sutra online is uh, giving such an opportunity that you can learn items of uh, dan uh, dance form 
from a guru in a constant basis in the sense that you can understand how the teaching process goes how the performance goes and how a, you know something which is which has developed in a kalari would evolve to a performance level and also one can understand there are so many intricacies which is lies in the dance form this is being opened being a, a e platform even while it is an e, e platform every detail each and every detail is being uh, described uh, as you do in a kalari of course learning items is a is a thing which should consume time a lot of time so there are a lot of effort one needs to put learn mohini atam with me through nate sutra online